Hello everyone. So in this session we are going to design this process in WinCC SCADA. So let's see how to do it. So here you can find the reactor over here and circulation pump and search tank. Some control walls over here and here. And this is the controller and we are having two controller over here because this is a cascade control system. So which will be having two closed loop. Secondary loop and primary loop like that. So indicator is there. And this reactor is having uh, you know stirrer motor. And one inlet and one outlet. So let's see how to design this in a WinCC. So go to SCADA page. So first we need to find the reactor tank. So go to tank. And you can find a tank with the stirrer motor so let's check where it is yeah you can find here tank 23 this one will suit so keep it over here right and uh, more than that we are in need of one more tank water search tank so let's check out a small tank like structure so i think we can go with this one keep it over here and uh, we are in need of some control valves over here you no know, like this and like this so let's go for valves and check out the respective valve you can go for this one right and uh, I think you can go for same valve and you can rotate if you want right same valve you can take and you can take the rotation or you can get yeah better you can go for the same valve we can rotate fine and what else we are in need of a controller this one in here one controller here one controller and transmitter two, two transmitters are there this transmitter LT and this is TT temperature transmitter and this is a level transmitter and uh, controllers are there so let's take two controller so before that let's go for sensor which is nearer go for a sensor choose this temperature transmitter here and same thing you can choose for level also I put it over here for level and we are in need of some controllers go for controller option choose two controller simple one you can take so I'll go for the this one I'll take two or you can take one and you can copy it okay so let's make it minimize so that we can fit everything in this page. Yeah. So this one should be this side. minimize it and this is the one we need to do the rotation you can go for okay let's check it out Yeah. some components we can do the rotation option and all for something we cannot do so in WinCC we cannot do the rotation can you see here yeah so everything is disabled so if you are designing from your end like uh, you can design the same control valve by using your simple objects 
if you are doing that we can able to rotate else we cannot able to rotate this one so the control wall let it be like this reduce the size of this also and search tank should be small yeah keep it over here and let's start with a reactor so let's start connecting so if you want you can refer this so first a reactor should have one input and one output so let's take a line and you can give the input like this and increase the width and it should end it with the arrow mark right so like this fine and yeah keep it like this and this is in and we have one more out for that you can just copy and paste the same line and keep it over here this is the product out this is feed in fine this is feed in this is the product so you can take a text field and type feed you can take a cap feed in and this going to be the product out yeah so later we need to connect our search tank with our reactor so take a line and just connect both the tanks that's it yeah here the arrow mark should be like this so you can represent like this or you can take a line big bit above and expand it and you can take one down line also like this also you can do take one more line and keep it like this yeah and for this particular line you need to give the arrow because it is inlet right inlet to the search tank so increase the width and it should end with the arrow mark right got it and same for this line also increase the width this should be normal that's it yeah then what else we need to connect a search tank with the level transmitter then one controller then control valve fine so let's go for a level transmitter from search tank so take a line can take with the this one take your controller line from level transmitter to your controller that's it and from your controller to your control valve right so in between i2p will be there but in pid it is not there you, if you want you can connect else you can connect directly anyhow it will be there so take a line connect from your now i'll take a poly line poly line connect from here and you can turn it yeah 
just double click on that it will stop fine so now we increase the width keep it down choose this one increase the width so it is a you know option yeah increase it same for polyline also you can and if any arrow mark is there you can check there is no arrow mark so from control bar there is a outlet over here so that is the cooling water out so go here and uh, you can connect like this this should be 4 and ended with the arrow mark this is a cooling water out so you can type a text here cooling water out fine so like this you can type you can keep it over here and up next you can so this side everything is done and uh, with the search tank and your control wall you should connect your circular pump fine so i think we can flip this flip this one so that we can take a search search tank and uh, pump connection over this side so for that i'm going to move completely this to this side So take a controller and place it over in this place and take this line out like this and take this one and try to flip it check it for flip option format flip horizontally so it will turn that side so you can take this one here and now take a line which will be like this fine now it looks exactly like in the pic now it is easy for you to connect a search tank and pump along with the valve so let's take a pump over in a graphics go to graphics and check out for a pump there is a pump option here so that was looks like a normal pump right normal pump so i'm going to choose this one 3d pump keep it over here reduce the size fine now we need to connect our control valve pump and search tank so reduce this one and take a line or polyline or let's take a line itself connect your control valve with the pump like this increase the width and take a line yeah like this increase it and what else we need to connect yeah so these two are connected with the circular pump and this pump is with our reactor pump is connected with the reactor so you can reduce this size yeah you can keep this here so now our pump is connected with the reactor so go to the polyline take a line from pump take again take it like this like this and it is going towards the reactor double click it will end the polyline will end when you click a double click fine so now increase the width of the line and uh, the line should end with arrow that's it so now pump is connected with the reactor you can check over here so it is connected with the reactor now again our control valve is connected with the 
same line so take a control valve here the line is connected with control valve line is connected with our reactor line yeah so increase the width of the control valve line so check out just select this and increase the width that's it and this control valve is connected with the controller over here fine so these two are same controller only so temperature controller you can find both are same so let's take a transmitter first and this transmitter is reading a temperature value of the reactor and that is given to our processor i mean our controller from your transmitter to a controller which is you know analog input so you just make it and increase the length of the line and from that you are giving signal to your control valve so take a line take a analog output to the controller so here also i to p converter will be there right so you just increase it that's it increase this and uh, increase this one so according to your requirement you can choose the line style also fine now oh, yeah so everything is done and the text part is remaining you can name this as a circulation pump water search tank so everything you can type so take a text type this as pump and uh, this is a cooling water makeup and there is a outlet for uh, there is a outlet for this so you can just take one more line and put it over here yeah just increase it this is a cooling water makeup take a line here and type text over there so this is cooling water makeup right and uh, text for the search tank search tank that's it so at most it is done right so this is how we need to design a cascade control over here so this is having two controllers so this is bit you can reduce the size according to the requirement and you can order it also sir for example see here this is bit the line is above the pump so you can check you can select the pump and you can order that to bring forward move forward or bring to forward so that you, that line goes it goes to the background same here also you can you can check and move front bring to front like this so like this you can change the order according to your requirement so i'll meet you in the next session with another example